Hello biologists and welcome to today's A-Level Biology Daily Revision Task. In today's task you are asked to produce a concept map on the generation and transmission of nerve impulses in mammals. The following short video will go and outline many of the things that you may wish to include. Hello and welcome to this A-Level Biology Revision video on how action and resting potentials are maintained and generated in nerve cells. The resting potential of a nerve cell membrane is minus 70 millivolts. This needs to be maintained in order for a generator potential or an action potential to be passed along it. There are a few key areas which we need to look at. To maintain it, we need to look at sodium channels. There is a sodium potassium pump. We need to be aware that there's tissue fluid outside of the axon, which requires sodium ions to be actively transported out into, and potassium ions to be actively transported into the axon. To get back to a resting state, the sodium potassium pump is a form of active transport. So it actively transports sodium ions out of the axon, back into the fluid surrounding it, and potassium ions from the fluid outside of it, back into the cytoplasm of the axon. Three sodium ions are transported out of the cell for every two potassium ions that are transported into the cell. This makes the inside of the cell relatively more negative than the outside of the cell. The cell membrane is said to be polarized. When this occurs, it is called its resting state or resting potential. Depolarization starts when the membrane becomes depolarized by the movement of sodium ions. Depolarization, also referred to as the upswing, is caused when positively sodium ions rush into the nerve cell through sodium proton channels. As these positive ions rush in, the membrane of the stimulated cell reverses its polarity so the outside of the membrane becomes negative relative to the inside. When the cell is repolarized or the outer membrane is repolarized it follows the following path. Once the electrical gradient has been reached to the threshold of excitement the downswing of repolarization begins. The channels that let positive sodium ions out close, while channels that allow positive potassium ions open, resulting in the release of positively charged potassium ions from the neuron. This expulsion acts to restore the localized negative membrane potential of the cell, bringing it back to its normal voltage. The graph to the left hand side of the page summarizes this process. It's worth noting all of the stages and it's worth trying to work out what is happening at all six stages. When we look at action potentials, the first stage starts at a resting potential. The concentration of sodium ions outside the axon membrane is high relative to inside of it. The potassium ions inside the axon membrane is high relative to the outside of it. Overall, <clears throat> the concentration of positive ions is greater on the outside of the axon, making the outside positive in comparison to the inside. 
the inside of the axon is therefore relatively negative. A stimulus causes sodium channels to open and therefore sodium to influx into the axon by diffusion. This causes a reversal of the charge, hence the inside of the axon now becomes positive in comparison to the outside. This is the action potential and the membrane becomes depolarized. The localized electrical circuits established by the influx of sodium ions cause the opening of sodium voltage gated ion channels a little further along the axon. The resulting influx of sodium ions in this region causes it to become depolarized. Behind this new region of depolarization, the sodium channels close and the potassium channels open. Potassium ions start to diffuse out of the axon. The action potential is propagated along the axon. The outward movement of potassium ions continues along the extent of the axon behind the membrane. Behind the action potential, the membrane returns back to its original charge state and becomes repolarized. Following repolarization, the axon membrane returns back to its resting state in readiness for a new stimulus. The propagation of an action potential is as follows. The action potential generated at the action Hilkert, which means the start, propagates as a wave along the axon. The current flowing inwards at the point of the axon during an action potential spread out along the axon and depolarize the adjacent sections of its membrane. The diagram to the left hand side shows how depolarization followed by repolarization followed by getting back to resting state occurs. I hope that you found this video helpful. Follow the link below for an attached sheet which you can go back and use to help you construct your own revision notes on this section. Thanks for watching and good luck with your exams. Hopefully this video should have helped you complete your daily revision task. Please subscribe so you can keep up to date with other videos to help with your daily revision tasks. You can follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter to help you keep up to date.